Hello everyone, my name is Christina and my topic is makeup shaming. And makeup shaming is when people will judge someone because of the amount of makeup they wear. And I think this has become a pretty big thing in the past like three years with the rise of like beauty gurus on Instagram and YouTube. So my favorite makeup artist is a girl by the name of Nikki Tutorials. Obviously her last name isn't Tutorials, it's like her YouTube name. <laughs> And um, she made a video called The Power of Makeup. She made this about a year ago. And I think she was like kind of the first person to bring light to makeup shaming. As you can see, she did half of her face, like full face of makeup. The other half, she didn't touch it. And um, she basically just like addressed the problem. She kind of started the trend. And it um, inspired a lot of other makeup artists to do the half face, half without. And it caused a pretty big uproar. So I think makeup shaming kind of started with social media, and it's been around like for about two, three years, like I said, and it's like kind of stuff like this. Message to all females on makeup, less is more. Your face is not a coloring book. Go easy on the makeup or you'll look like a clown. Modern makeup trends, aka the Kardashian look, has gone too far. Overdone eyebrows, highlighting, lip plumping, overlining, just stop. So we see stuff like this and we get kind of confused because a lot of people are saying like wear less makeup but then you see stuff like this. The reason we're going swimming on our first date. Yeah, I'm sure you've all seen that one. <laughs> we can't date if you do this. It's false advertisement. And this is where we're running a mile around a track for our first date to see if you sweat the makeup off. So like this is kind of where girls get torn because it's like, oh, they're saying wear less but then the second you show them less, they're saying it's ugly. So it's like, what do you want from girls? Um, they like it kind of it tears down their self-esteem, and they're constantly like battling with who they are and like how much makeup they should wear. And a lot of people think nowadays like makeup has a really negative connotation around it. Like it's almost kind of like a crime to say that you love makeup and you love doing your makeup because people think like you're hiding something or like you're misleading or you're trying too hard. And this is a girl named, I'm sure I'm saying her name wrong, but I think it's Shalom Black. And as you can see, she's a burn victim. She got burned in her parents' restaurant when she was younger by oils. And makeup, like, really helps her and her confidence. So I think makeup is, like, it helps a lot of people and it brings their confidence out. And now she's not saying, like, slap on with a bunch of makeup and it'll make you feel better. But she is saying, like, you know, you can find that inner confidence within you and then you can start to be comfortable with your real skin, too. And a lot of people think that we like wear makeup for other people. And I can promise you I did not go to Ulta and spend two hundred dollars for you. I did it for myself. <laughs> and like makeup is really fun and there's no rules. And I think that's just a great thing. It helps you express yourself. So this is kind of like my story why the topic is close to me. When I was like in middle school and elementary school, I used to get like bullied because I had like really red skin. As you can probably see, my chest is getting red right now because I'm nervous. <laughs> And if I wasn't wearing five pounds of foundation, I can assure you my face would be beat red right now. And <laughs> I just come from like a long line of like red faced people because I'm very pale. And I have like translucent eyebrows. I can promise you those brows are not real. <laughs> they are filled in 100%. They're super blonde. And so like kind of when I found makeup, I could realize like, oh, I could cover up like that redness on my face. I could like fill in my eyebrows. But like even when I did that, like I still realized like I could take it off. It's like I'm still going to be red faced. And I'm still going to have overdone eyebrows, but I think makeup kind of helped me, like, because, you know, confidence, you, like, fake it till you make it. So makeup kind of helped me, like, fake it till I make it, because now I'm, like, comfortable with my own skin. Like, I don't wear makeup a lot to school most of the time. And I just, I'm not saying don't, like, cover your face and never be comfortable with your insecurities. But it does help, and it's very fun. It's a good way to express yourself. And at the end of the day, we kind of just all have to mind our own business because it's your face. It's You can do whatever you want with it. And if you want to wear a ton of makeup or don't wear any at all, just don't judge people and stop makeup shooting. Thank you.